Ellen DeGeneres and Anne Hesh's relationship may have been short, but it paved the way for LGBTQ plus couples in Hollywood. The former Ellen DeGeneres show host and Hesh had an instant connection when they met each other in 1997, and the women were totally smitten. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Anne Hesh and DeGeneres romance. Stay tuned to find out. Long before Portia de Rossi came into Ellen's life, Ellen believed that she had found real love with Hesh. However, she was proven wrong. In 1997, Anne Hesh had a multi-millionaire movie deal with Fox Studios. Ellen DeGeneres was a huge hit on TV's Ellen. They were both on the top of the world according to career-wise. When they met each other at the Vanity Fair Oscars after party, Hersh assumed herself completely heterosexual. Later on, Hesh said, and then I met her at the Vanity Fair party, and it was a chemistry thing that you can't really describe. It just happened. Obviously, I was attracted to her. Then came the puppy show in the 1997 episode of Ellen, in which Ellen comes out to her therapist, played by mega-rich Oprah Winfrey. In the same year, Hash was with Ellen when she came out in real life on Oprah Winfrey's talk show. Hash told Oprah that she had seen the generous across a packed room and was just drawn to her. However, Fox Studios rejected this, while Hash and DeGeneres walked the red carpet at the premiere of Volcano by holding each other's hand. Hash and DeGeneres were escorted out of the theater and Hash was excluded from attending the after party. And her contract was deader than dead. But Ellen and Anne had fallen in love. But what happened to Disney's TV show Ellen? The small answer is that it was a Disney show. Ellen staggered on for another year and then was suspended completely. These days, even with her various challenges, she is super rich thanks to the Ellen DeGeneres show. Back then, she was struggling big time. After all their coming out, Hash was mostly out of work, and DeGeneres was pushed to return to her stand-up comedy tours. However, Hash and DeGeneres seems to stand strong as a couple and were often pictured smiling, holding hands, or snuggling. By the time Alan got together with Portia de Rossi, in 2004, the environment was changed, and nobody batted an eyelash. For Alan and Anne, it was always a battle. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Let's continue. For a time, she also dated actress Steve Martin, who was 30 years older than she was. But behind the scenes, she was even struggled with serious mental issues. Even then, she has admitted to having times of madness. She said, You name it, I could do it. I could see into the future. I could heal people. I don't know where it came from. I was in my mind learning from God. Even with Alan, Hash battled with her mental issues. By 2003, she even said that she and Alan were no longer happy together. Alan doesn't seem to have felt the same. Hash also walked out one day. The same day, she even underwent a psychotic episode and was hospitalized. The official statement Anne Hash and Ellen DeGeneres provided at the time of their breakup said, Unfortunately, we have agreed to end our relationship. It is a peaceful party, and we greatly value the three and a half years we have spent together. We hope everyone will respect our privacy through this hard time. According to sources, the time that the relationship had run its course was nothing more and nothing less. However, the generous also told the Los Angeles Times in 2001 that their split sent her reeling. She said, She walked out the door and I haven't spoken to her since. I don't have the answers. I would love to have them myself. I would ask all the questions that everyone else wants to ask. I am left with everybody else admiring what happened. I don't know. I really don't. I feel betrayed. The generous added that this was the first time she had ever had her heart broken and didn't have closure. Even years later, the two haven't said anything more about what went wrong in their relationship. The interesting thing about Alan DeGeneres and Anne Hash's breakup was Hash's reactions the day after the couple publicly declared that they had broken up. According to reports, Hash showed up at the door of a stranger's home in Cantua Creek, California, and had an emotional breakdown requesting a shower and declaring herself God. On 2020, Hash said that her mental issues came from a history of abuse by her father that resulted in her being classified with two characters, the other being called a Celestia. She said, I'm not crazy, but it's a crazy life. I was raised in a crazy family and it took 31 years to get the crazy out of me. Talking about the night she met DeGeneres, Hash said, her name was Ellen DeGeneres. She was radiating. I think at specific times in people's life, you just emit an energy and, and a glow of fabulousness. And that was her. I had never seen anybody so lit up. What are your thoughts on this topic? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. 
Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out.